All right, so today's the day. Today's the day we finally get solar in the shipping container. Um, I've built a frame for the panels, and today we're gonna chuck it up on the top there, put the panels up, and then do a little temporary wiring uh, through into the shipping container. Um, I'll show you around that in a sec. Um, we've kind of set it up at the moment for uh, for kind of spring autumn um, angle. Um, there was also a couple things that made it a bit more difficult with the brackets that I put up in a few videos back. Um, I put them up perpendicular to the shipping container and not facing north. So it made my life a little bit more difficult, but um, in the end I got there. Alright, so that's the frame. Um, at this point I've got them at a 53 degree angle. Um, what I've done is that down the bottom I've got it on hinges so that all I have to do is replace these um, bracket, these arms and I can change the angle of the shipping container between which month it is. Um, so apparently 53 degrees is optimal for this time of year and it'll obviously get flatter in summer and then stand up a bit more in winter. Um, I've got put these little brackets these are the brackets that came in my, with my solar kit um, six per panel because it's quite a big panel this is the, the the bit that made it a little difficult you can see that that's what I anticipated when I put up the, um, the brackets on the top of the shipping container so this has just kind of got the angle right so that the panels are facing north Gave my little sort of thing of paint um, and brought it down here. Next step now is to take my temporary kind of setup that I've got and make it nice and permanent and look the part and all that. So that's what I'll be doing now. Um, So that's it, nice and clean, everything's tucked away behind. Um, you can see the cables all go into the back. Um, I've left heaps of space in here because we're going to have the Wi-Fi router. Um, I'm going to, when I get lights, I'm going to put in some, finally get around to putting some lights in here. I'm going to have a panel just there with switches and and all that at the moment the load is just for the CCTV so and and all that all the brains for that is behind it um, yeah this little area here underneath has the batteries um, I've made it so that I can potentially put another set of batteries in there when we eventually need it but for now the two batteries in there with a little bit of an air gap so that they don't get too hot um, the Cool thing about this space is that you can plug you can plug all your things in. Quite a lot of our stuff sits sits on charge. So your phone, your um, music player, all that. Other than that, I think it's a pretty nice clean system. I'm going to neaten these wires up eventually um, when there's a bit more stuff in here. Um, they're not the final amount of wires to come out from there. So, um, but for now, I think that's a pretty good good start. So here you can see the the cables that come 
out of the solar panel, go through the wire connectors. They then come down and into the vent of the of the shipping container. I had to break up in here to get them through, but it works really well, and I don't have to put in another, make another hole. So there you can see that. Panels are perfectly positioned at the moment for the sun. Right, so that's it. Panels are up. Um, my solar wall is all plugged in and going. There's still a little bit that I still want to do. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet on what is it is what it is exactly that's still going to go in there. So I'm going to hold off a little bit on putting in all those panels and all that that I discussed. Um, but you know, the main thing is that it it runs, the panels charge, and the batteries run, and the inverters run. So everything's going pretty well. Yeah, I guess I guess a few things that I've had to go through in this process. I guess the first was, and, and I went over this in quite a lot of detail in um, my unboxing video of the of the whole kit, and that's how much you actually need. Um, at the moment, the panels are pretty much never fully going because they the batteries are almost always full. Um, I'm only using about three amps, so that yeah. It's, not even vaguely scratching the surface of what my batteries can cope with. So another thing that I really had to figure out with the, with building this setup is the angle and position of the solar panels. What I've done with this one is you can see the, the back arm of the panels that can be removed and changed for the different angles of the seasons. Here in New Zealand there's a big range in the angles that you um, that you have to have between winter and summer just because we're so low on the globe. Um, at the moment the sun's about there so you can see that my panels are working quite nicely um, for the angle that they're at. Um, they have to be kind of perpendicular to north so that was another thing that I had to go through when I was um, when I was building. My container is kind of 30 degree, 32 degrees and so I had to position the panels um, a little bit skewed on there um, yeah it's not actually looks quite nice so I'm not too worried about that um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below of what I the this kind of website that I use to figure out exactly the angle that I'll, I'm going to go with limitations I guess the, the limiting factor at the moment is the um, it's the 500 watt inverter um, that just kind of basically charges phones and runs laptops and that kind of thing. It doesn't do much more than that. The we really would like to have you know about 3,000 watts so we could run uh, coffee machines and that kind of stuff. So a bit of a change of plan in in what we're going to do inside there because if if I take on a little tour, which I'll do in an, in a video soon you can see that it's already pretty full up with all our stuff and all our operating things so um, we have a little caravan which I've sh briefly shown in one of my videos before um, and I think the plan there is to make that into a little mobile food cart that we can take home in the end of the day put everything on the keep the fridges going and all that and then bring it back so that's that's the I guess in the next project but this close to finishing with this with this shipping container it's been pretty awesome ride so far um, if you're new to this channel make sure you check out all the build videos that I've put up for this container there's a full playlist waiting for you um, and yeah subscribe and I guess I'll see you next time